Yeah, so welcome to the Mindscape online webinar. Thank you so much for joining. I'm Cassandra, as you guys both know me. And my journey with Mindscape actually started almost 11 years ago already when I took the first class. And the reason why I took it was because I had just started the energy healing side and I wanted to be able to connect with my clients a lot deeper. So I thought I was just going to use it for my clients. <laughs> Little did I know it was mostly going to be used for me. I do use it for clients all the time too, but I just use it day to day for various things. It's just always in the back of my mind. It's always open, always there. And I think there's a lot of benefit to it, which is why I wanted to do this webinar, bring David in so you guys could meet him and ask questions, get to know a little bit more about the class. Yeah. And just bring whatever curiosity that you have forward. Excellent. So my journey with Mindscape began about 20 years ago. I took the seminar and since then I've, as Cassandra mentions, you tend to just use it all the time in big ways, small ways, and you find that it just integrates into your natural way of being. And while I, I tend to find it interesting to try to describe Mindscape outside of training the seminar, I think that's a lot of what we want to do right now in terms of this marketing opportunity is to say, Mindscape can help you in the way that you want it to. And it will also prioritize whatever goals and your thoughts surrounding where you want to be in life and what you want to achieve, just sort of your general health day to day and your bigger life goals as well. And it can bring those into a better focus. It will help you to get towards and achieving your goals sooner and easier. And an interesting, some of the interesting things are the keeps you in a present moment as well as the prioritizing I think is a, is something I've noticed lately. What's important to you? We have many of us carry lots of thoughts and goals in our head and that's great. I think that's natural for humans to do that. And yet what's gonna matter for you right now, it may not be necessarily the one that you're focused on more of the time. So it's interesting to watch how that plays out in your mindscape and to see where the priorities bubble up and to see where your intuition will really lead you towards and allow you to do, in fact. Sometimes our, our surface stated goals aren't necessarily the ones that are gonna help us most and Mindscape really helps you to kind of shake that out and get in touch with that. I really love the way that you put that as well, like how you described everything, because I found very, very similar stuff for myself as well. So everyone kind of used it a little bit differently, but you're the instructor and you've had so much experience with it. But even some of the things that I've worked with recently, it was so bizarre because I even asked my mindscape, like what's going to help me in my next step, getting to my next level of success. And my mindscape told me to go camping. <laughs> I was like, what? How is that going to help? Maybe it's a nature reset, right? And I ended up making actually a business contact during that camping trip where I ended up, which wasn't where I was supposed to be, but I just kind of went with everything. And from there, things have just been like <laughs> rocket ship, like powering off. And I never would have expected that. And that answer was not something that was logical to me either. I'm like, okay, I want success. I'm going to go camping. Like, <laughs> It didn't make sense, but now it makes perfect sense. So sometimes you get these little funny nudges from it or little answers that you're just like, okay. But then when you actually take action and follow through, you're like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so I have a lot of like weird little random stories like that. But yeah, just wanted to add that. <laughs> Back to you, David. Right. And it's sure, it, while it might feel random in a moment, as it did for you and it can for, for many of us, once we allow that information in and go with the flow, it can easily become apparent that that's 
that is the intention of, if you want to say the universe, where th and the path that we're on is to make it very clear that that is the best thing for us at the moment. And with those fun, the fun little synchronicities of saying that this seems to go against kind of logic in the moment, et cetera. But when my, and I'll speak now specifically for recent Mindscape experiences for me is that you have to let logic go sometimes. Do you want it in your life? Definitely, lots of the time, most of the time, you want to have logic in there. But if you're able to kind of get over and above that and allow Mindscape to take you into some area that was, you know, not necessarily logical in so many ways, but it can really bring about the change you want or the result you want. And until you let go of that need for, let's say, control and logic, sometimes you hold yourself back. If that's, if those are the, if you want to call them techniques you rely on and just the rational makes, it reminds me that Mindscape takes you kind of above and beyond the rational world, helps you transcend that realm. And I think so many people have had a glimpse of that throughout their life of saying, I kind of, I kind of see glimpses of something that's above and beyond logic, ration. If you want to say irrational, I think I'm comfortable with that. Lots of irrational things about the world to benefit from. Mindscape was one of them, even though it's also based in logic and it can, it grounds you in that as well, but it gives you a balance of both. So some of the things I've learned to do over the years with Mindscape is to allow that balance to be a bigger part of my realm to allow things to happen rather than try and force things some or most of the time. When you, when you push a bit too hard towards a goal or a life situation, sometimes you recognize that as soon as you kind of take, take a passive, it's, it's a semi-passive role at some stage where you have to say, I got to let go of control. What does that look like for me? What's the best thing I can do to stay out of my own way while still being active? So Mindscape allows you to be active behind the scenes in those cases where you think pushing a bit too hard. Sometimes you want a goal a bit too much. You want to take the pressure off. You want to let the universe fill in details. And I believe that through the Mindscape technique that that kind of thing can happen more often and you'll actually get quicker and better results. One thing I had lately is helping someone find, I don't want to get too specific about it, but it was, it was finding a document. Um, interesting how sometimes in our world, in this world, we want to, something that's always there for us can disappear. In some situations, certain documents become fairly important. And there was a bit of a time crunch to finding this. And it was a travel document. So mindscape it of course of course you do now i realized that during the scramble to find said document it became it became too much and i had to back away in my mindscape and say normally we find that by now time is getting short and really things are going to kind of go to say sideways wasn't quite the right word but i'll leave it at go sideways When I realized that I had my ego wrapped up into that finding of the document, I was able to back away from that because normally I'm very good at using Mindscape outside of ego. And I realized in that particular situation that my ego was too involved. Once I let that go, it only took a few more minutes until that document was found. So that was another, you know, another chance to learn, another chance to make some adjustments in an approach in how you want to expect to get things done and expect to benefit from Mindscape. Now, those expectations sometimes can turn into too much pressure. So Mindscape, Mindscape itself allows you to, when we use it at our best, we can then kind of take the pressure off, see a result, and allow that result to happen. 
Now, I'm not sure if that resonates with anybody on the call in terms of allowing things to happen. Um, let us know, kick in with a comment or two. Anybody? I'm Not yet. Too, I'm too busy eating. Sorry. My mouth eating. is full, so it'd be too rude. That's a valid excuse, and we'll definitely accept it in this moment. What's on your mind, Cassandra? Go ahead. No, it's just funny because these are really good reminders because I've had those experiences too where the ego mind was just a little bit too involved. And it's just a reminder that sometimes when that's involved and there's too much pressure, it just takes you out of that present state and that allowance receiving state as well for it to actually work and for things to actually happen. And I think that's been an issue my whole life is, I guess, wanting some sense of control and things like that. So definitely this class has benefited me with allowing to let certain things go, especially with like some of my neurodivergent traits. It's interesting that I can actually be very organized and structured and actually get things done. So yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Another aspect of, that's a real strength of, of studying Mindscape is it helps you be at your best. So we all have so many gifts we bring to the world and everyone brings their attitudes, their abilities, their skills, all that is wrapped up in so many millions and billions of unique individuals that wander the planet. So that's all cool. And what I think Mindscape can also help with is to say what's the best not just what's the best thing for myself in this situation but how can i be at my best self in other words be it's, it's back to the thought of your skill set you can expand that definitely but i think there's as far as we're expansive beings i still think that there are there are certain limits and I don't want to try and say that, well, you know, I'll certainly say the universe is unlimited and we're not going to try to delve too deeply into that concept. But I think that once we accept that we have our pluses and minuses in life, we can say, how can I be at my best in this situation and not, and not be so scattered with trying to convince ourselves in the unlimited potential do you see that balance I'm going after here? I think that we have to say there's life is full of potential, but what can, where do I fit into that? Where do I fit into the unlimited? What are my skills? How can I be at my best more of the time? And I think Mindscape helps you be at your best more of the time as you work it into your day-to-day -day life. Well, my wanna... question would be, it's Marion speaking. Um, because I, I know myself, the likelihood of me taking a new course is not really high, but I have clients that are always seeking and I'm a pretty good channel for what is to send them off to. And what would I say to them? Because right this minute, I'm, I, I have a sense of nebulous words. I don't have a sense of something I can say, well, you know what? This is going to make a difference. Right. Mindscape brings you closer to your essence. It allows you to improve the skills that are important to you at all levels. It will bring you closer to your best health, your best happiness, and it will put you in touch with your deepest intuition, which will then be, you'll kind of be your own, your own intuitive guide at a very deep level. So it's and like a, a shortcut to that. Sorry for interrupting, but I like that. A shortcut I, to my intuition. That's fairly brilliant in this moment. So I'm glad we're recording. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, your own best coach in many situations. 
we still get input from others, definitely. And I think that when it comes down to the important decisions, you want to take responsibility for yourself. So I think it allows you to do that and ultimately say, I'm now ready. I've had input from others. I've had my deepest intuition here. Now I'm comfortable to say, I'm going to make a decision with this, with okay. a goal, with a, with a skill, what you're going to go after kind of thing, what you're going to pursue in life, where you want to get to. Um, I'm a big fan of that sense of personal responsibility. And I think Mindscape really can put you in touch with that and allow you to take that to its fullest extent. Thank you. There's a how here I'm questioning. Um, of course, the, the common term is that everyone knows about is mind mapping. Right. Is that at all related? It's 100% related. Okay. And it brings that to life in a 3D way. Okay. And not just 3D, but it's surround sound, the best quality surround sound. It's the absolute ability to watch that unfold in your best way. Okay. And I love, I love the mind maps. I went through a huge phase and I don't want to downplay. Okay. It's not just a phase, but I think I've, I've now integrated that so much into Mindscape that I, I don't do so much paper-based mind mapping. All right. It's just because Mindscape wraps that up in there in a neat little package. And it really, it supercharges that. And it will also kind of, it'll prioritize all those things in your mind map as well, because that can be a huge deal because until you, until you tackle, you know, bubble X, you'll never get to bubble Y, even though they're both on that page and part of that brilliant image you have for yourself. Okay. Yeah, you're starting to make more sense, thanks. Well, thank you for that, because that's a, that's a huge benefit. Um, I, have my, I have my full Mindscape course mind mapped. Uh, sadly, of course, I can't show it to you, <laughs> but it does exist that way. It really does. Um, you know, if you do, if you are willing to take uh, Mindscape with me at the end of that, I'll be happy to give you a glimpse of my mind maps because it's it's all there and you know just by having it there i'm sure you under you understand that using mind maps as a even as a, a beginning springboard can be massive so if you can allow yourself to play with the concept of mind map times you know times a thousand kind of a thing i think that's where you're getting into understand the power of mindscape Mm, mouth is full. What's the ideal client look like? Sorry. <laughs> You'll have to repeat that last part when your mouth is empty. <laughs> I warned you. You did. What is the ideal client look like? What kind of qualities, capabilities do they have so that this will work for them? Like, is this in terms of learning things, I mean, there's, and I'm going to throw some words out, but like there's basic level learning, maybe Reiki, and there, there's things are energy, and then there's another level of something in it. And I'm not comparing it to it. I'm saying only giving you the concept of the level of the person's ability to learn. It's more of a keenness, and it's more of a having that glimpse of there's something bigger beyond myself beyond my current world okay now again i i toggle between that idea of unlimited great potential and what can i do within the unlimited great potential so people need and it's uh, you want to have had a glimpse of something greater than yourself and something something bigger than the ordinary and just understand that Maybe you've only glimpsed it once or twice in your life, but you just know there's something beyond just the current day-to-day -day slog of life. That there's, there's a greater energy, there's a greater power, there's just something out there, that, and, you, and you probably can't even put your finger on it, 
and maybe can't even describe it, but you say, I think there's just more life than this. So it's that keenness to say, I want to, I want to start tapping into that. Does that help? Yeah, and and my thought went to my own thinking slash work is about clearing out what's in the way of being who we really are, um, which is the all inside that's connected to the everything. And I think the word moreness is coming. It's my own made up word moreness. And when I hear you say something out there, I'm very left-handed. I'm very much more about the opposite of what most Western people think in that I see the vastness of in there and how that's connected to one and we're all one and all the rest of that. Um, but I'm getting that the client that I have that is aware that, <clears throat> and not just the one, but the ones that are aware of this state of mourners that they're beginning to get it, quote unquote, they, this would be a good path. I also like that. Thank you for that. And I agree with you. And it, it is that it sounds like you have a, in your own way, it's something similar to say that there is this vast universe. Um, we have our place in it. We're on our path. We're only ever on our path. But maybe we can expand it. Maybe we can make it a bit more comfortable, a bit easier, a bit more uh, prosperous, a bit more um, healthy for us, a bit more, right? Or sometimes a lot more. And what I'm getting besides, I hope you're okay with this, because when I get stuff, I just natter it out. Please. Um, if, okay, the potentiality of all of us, we have a path, we're our own unique snowflake. And in our lifetime, if we're aiming to be the untethered soul, borrowing that, then to arrive at the full potential of that untethered soul can be pretty hit and miss. And you're offering a method of adding more to that package. I think to be more hit than miss is yeah. what it'll bring. And to, you know, it's, if, if we want to say it's the, it's peeling away the layers of the onion, there's still going to be another layer. So um, I'm not, I don't want to say I've glimpsed ultimate humanity. I haven't. Maybe some people have, and, and some people talk about that. I have to stay out of that conversation because I'm not there. I think that, you know, uncovering those layers or it's that, it's the push pull thing, right? It's the, you want to do stuff, you want to experience, and then you have to kind of get centered again. And, you know, with there being no perfect answers in this world, um, we have to kind of rely on what's the best answer for me. I get that you're offering uh, a compass. Not bad. I think it's, I think it's still more. I, I like that a lot. Um, because Mindscape is still, it still is, there's there's a results base to it as well but i see how that ties into it though the idea of compass well I, i'm 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 very practical so my mind goes to various clients that really would like a more practical method of hearing themselves that's the words i'm using okay hearing their own inner being um yep staying on track, staying on their path. And I regularly offer things I've learned and whatever that comes up in their session that I should share. And it might be somebody's writings, it might be whatever. 
Sure. Bottom line, stay present, stay present, stay present. But never mind. If they're in the place of wanting to take a course and learn more, then that's what I'm hearing this could offer. I agree. I think as well, Mindscape can, it is like, it's like a, it's like a European train station to so many options. It's yeah, more, I'm seeing it, that. it's like a hub. It, it's like a hub and it's, but, and it is more unlimited. Like I'm, I'm giving you some 3D here where it's really 4D as, as we already talked about. So you'll get it. And you, and oh, you, you know what, you know what really helps? This is how mm. my brain works. Sorry for interrupting you. Who is the person that wrote that book? Um, and she was quoted, Wayne Dyer. Oh, sorry, just she, kidding. She's um, wrote about, she's nearly dead. She's um, from Iran or a Middle East country. She's nearly dead and, and literally came back and wrote this book. It's And the things that she says is, do you realize that what we have in front of us is a room Eric first name starts with A, um, Angela or something. Anyway, we have this, what it's like to know our being, our inner, the, the limitlessness of us is to think about being in a warehouse with absolutely everything that's ever available, but the lights are off. And when she, cause she died, she died in literally, this is what she saw. And yep. To realize we have no fear we don't have any reason to have any fear because we're just turning the light on hmm. again i like that um see it's 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 back to what i said in in the beginning it can be difficult to to put mindscape into a 30 second marketing blurb and as you see, our, I've not done that. So that's why I'm still saying it's difficult to do. Uh, you know, I don't like empty promises. I don't like, I don't like to present something that I don't think it is. And it's, there's so much to it. There's so many facets that it's better to have this conversation over, over extended number of minutes rather than trying to be, you know, uh, a bit too clever in a few seconds. Well, there's such, for me, the credibility of even tuning into this is Cassandra. I've right. watched her personally grow right. in a really massive way. And she's um, highly skilled and keeps yep. unfolding. And if she says, hey, this is a good thing, I want to take the time to, to introduce you, then there's credibility there. I get the same credibility with my people. That's why I'm wanting to, and having not done this, so it's kind of like, pie in the sky for me, um, I still have a sense and an ability to, well, I channel. So I know what's right for each person in a, in a way that not Marion knows what's right. Don't hear that. It's, it's right. that I do kind of a soul speak and they tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Putting you in my repertoire, put it that way. I'm putting yeah, this yeah. in my toolbox as a, oh, that might fit for so-and-so. Yes. And Absolutely. Mindscape is, is a huge way to channel your energy and channel energy it's, itself in terms of when we can focus in on something through our Mindscape technique. And when I say techniques, of course, that encompasses hundreds of possibilities that I know of within Mindscape. In any case, we can tune in on things wherever they are in the world and we can get information that way. Now I've given you a glimpse of something that comes from attending Mindscape, but it, it is right back to that sense of channeling. Now you have your, I bet I already can, I have that sense you're very strong with it and it's a big thing for you and I'm, I'm very pleased for you. And it's just, it would just give you more avenues to do that. And who knows, you might find an even better way. I guess you you'd be able to figure that uh, out. For, too, late. Yeah. too late, too late, David, well, too late, too old. I, too late. I, you know, I went through this nearly die stuff so that I wouldn't yeah. have me in the way. And, and right. now I just am what I am in the moment. <laughs> and I, and I pretty much trust that it, it keeps, it keeps working. So 
It ain't yeah. broke, don't fix it. I'm so left-handed. I would be such a problem in your class. Oh, it wouldn't be a problem. Oh, We're yeah. having a <laughs> visit. There's nothing wrong with that. No problem here. So, no, I appreciate the, um, the that angle and that it's not an angle. It's it's more than that, but that's the word I said. So I'll leave it at that. I, I just appreciate your input. Cassandra, can you, uh, how about come back for a, a few moments and um, we'll see where we're at. Yeah, no, that was all a very great conversation to engage in and to listen to as well. I've been writing potential notes myself because <laughs> there's always new things. But coming back to some of the how, and obviously correct me if I'm wrong, David, but just like how I've experienced it and for me to explain it to others so it makes sense in my mind, maybe it'll make sense to other people too, is that some of the how is getting involved with your senses, getting into that alpha state, which there's a specific sequencing. It teaches you how to do that, how to get into your alpha state mind, which is more connection to that subconscious intuitive mind. Like it, there's a whole structure that allows you to go through that process. And then once you get into what Mindscape is, it's something that you build in the class, in your mind that you have access to and only you. And it has a lot of different tools within that in order to utilize them to do all the things that we've been talking about. So I know we don't want to give any quick 30 minute <laughs> or 30 second spiels or whichever. So hopefully that has done it some sort of justice for understanding like a logical process, I guess. Logical within the irrational. <laughs> no, that's real helpful. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, because I, I see pictures when you talk, so it helps. Yeah, absolutely. To me, it's like looked like one big house in my head <laughs> that I've added on to over time. Yeah. Good. Ways in and ways out. I hear it. Yeah. Excellent. Any other thoughts or questions out there? We have our Nicaraguan attendee. How are you doing out there? Might have lost her, you know. No, I'm here. <laughs> oh, well, hello. <laughs> um, this is my first uh, introduction to Mindscape. So I'm just sitting here listening and enjoying the conversation. Um, it's very, it's very intriguing. Um, I, I am interested, I'm very interested in that whole concept getting in touch with your intuition better and yeah <laughs> i'm just taking it all in right now taking it all in that's good Sharon. and we glad we're, we're glad you are and thanks for that mm -hmm. yeah so uh, i'm not sure where to go next i think that again uh, i can't start training mindscape now because this is just an, an intro talk and you know I hope I hope you're you know it sounds like we're getting glimpses of possibilities and I think one of the big lessons of Mindscape is is that it'll it will give you more glimpses of more possibilities and that by paying attention to little things in your world once you're integrating Mindscape into your day to day those little things can take on not just huge meaning but huge impact and by building on these little things, we can work towards the big things. And, you know, again, when I mentioned that human beings by nature have goals in life, they have, they have hopes and dreams and all that, Mindscape will help you clarify those, help you prioritize those, it'll help you achieve those. Um, you'll achieve them easier, quicker, and bring out, bring out, you'll you'll shine more you'll your abilities will they'll just they'll take on a, a better um just glow they'll it'll it just really it really brings things out of individuals and allows them to interact easier with the energy of the world and energy of people and to really tune into the energy as it as they need to and as they want to What's next? If you got a website, what's the story? Well, you know, Cassandra has all that stuff. Okay. 
Yep, it's on my website, phoenixmysteryschool.ca, and there's a Mindscape-specific tab. Okay. So it has more about Mindscape on there as well, just kind of our breakdown that we've gone through, and then the next class will be posted on there as well. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And the book is Dying to Be Me, Anita Murjani. Brilliant. It just pops up like that. Nice. Thanks for that. Well, I'm dying to see some folks in a Mindscape seminar soon, and I think we're going to set up a, uh, a Zoom. It may be a two, two days in a row, and it may be four evenings in a row. Not sure where we're going to bubble out with that, but we will, and we'll post it, and we'll inform people. Okay. I appreciate being on that list. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, to everybody. All right. Yep. Thank you, everyone, and I'll put you on those lists. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thanks, you're everybody. welcome. Thank you. Good night. Thank All the you. Best. Have a good night.